This is a draw of my life for how me and around 800,000 people were helped to do the programming in ICVs. My story starts about a week before my 16th birthday. I had just gone running after school like any other normal day when suddenly I passed out and the next thing I knew I was in the hospital with lots of IVs and balloons. There, I had blood drawn, a heart ultrasound, and even an MRI. Finally, my doctor diagnosed me with ARVC and told me I would need an ICD to control the arrhythmia or irregular heart rhythms. Before I explain ARVC, let's go over the heart fa really fast. The heart has four chambers for receiving and pumping out blood, right in that atrium and the right in that ventricle. ARVC is a condition when scar tissue and fats replace the muscle in the right ventricle, which leads to arrhythmia. In this picture, purple is good and gray is bad. Side note, it was due to technology and computing that this picture is possible. Now, what is an ICD and what, why is it helpful? An ICD stands for an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. It's sort of like Tony's arc reactor. Not really, but wouldn't that be cool? but it does help allow people with heart conditions to live relatively normal lives. With an ICD, when your heart rate is too slow, it sends electric signals to make it speed up into an average heart rate, sort of like when your mom pokes you until you wake up for school. On the other side, when your heart rate is too fast, it shocks the heart, like the name ICD implies. When implanting the ICD, there's not only the device but the leads that administrate the impulses. This is a picture of my x-ray after the ICD surgery. So what does this have to do with computer programming and who came up with this idea? Well, it was A. Hobbs who came up with the idea to send impulses to the heart and Mentronic who first did that in 1972. They did this through programming which is now standard. Doctors can go in and see individuals heart rates from the day before. They can also modify each ICD to meet the needs of the individuals who need it. Doctors do this by programming the ICD to control the range between which the ICDs send impulses. ICDs have saved the lives of many individuals far and wide, but this would not be possible without computing and everything that they contribute. There are just one of the countless examples of how computer programming has helped people. Oh, no, we're just going to write that in.